A few weeks back, Becca reported in the newsroom about how Samsung had bricked oh, I know. millions of their Blu-ray players. Yep. Unreal. They pushed out an update that bricked all of their Blu-ray players. Any so Blu-ray player that was connected to the web, which you buy, what do you, does anyone buy a Blu-ray player to play Blu-rays? Tell me honestly. No, we, no. You, they're smart. They have YouTube, they have Netflix, they got Amazon Prime Video, whatever else yeah. built in. And, and so that's, and, and the convenience of, yes, it can play Blu-ray and DVD and even music CDs. Mm -hmm. If people even buy those anymore. I do. Do you? I do. I'm I very nostalgic. You know that about me. I don't remember yeah. the last time I bought a CD. I or, can't or buy Blue digital Ray. downloads. Yeah, I yeah. just can't do it. I can't do it. I'll do digital rentals of videos, but music, yeah. I need a physical CD. But that said, they bricked all of their Blu-ray players. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. But it went to show that a big company can make a little mistake that can cause a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to brick a bunch of people's media players no. in the middle of a pandemic. <laughs> Hello. Not. So at least I'll give them kudos. Samsung has stepped up to the plate and yep. said, this was our error. We will pay to fix it. Yep. Yep. If you contact your Samsung rep, they will actually give you a FedEx shipping label and they will fix it and they will return it to you entirely at their expense, even if it's out of warranty. Wow. Right? So they've done, they've done good. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine they haven't lost all profit from that $120 Blu-ray player that you've ever, that you purchased from Walmart. Right. Yeah. Um, but they, they done good. That's how a company should react when they screw up. I feel like this is a lead up to a company who screwed up. So back to our Wednesday. <laughs> Anybody want to look up Wednesday? What is today? The wh as we're shooting this, uh, it, the it is the fifteenth of July. The fifteenth of July. I feel like this was the COVID day for tech. Like it just went nuts. This day was brutal. So I got to work, Jeff, yeah. and my colleague who is working in support right now because we've got two people who are stranded because of closed airports due to COVID-19 yep. and one person who is on vacation who can't actually travel, but is still taking it easy for the next couple of days. Mm -hmm. So my technician is uber stressed out. What's going on? He says, well, we've got a big customer who is having trouble with their email and I can't figure it out. I just can't get to the bottom of it. Uh, okay. And we talked about it for about 15 minutes and tried to, okay, we'll try this, try that, blah, blah, blah. No solution. Okay. But, and then I went and sat at my desk. Right. And then the phone started ringing. And the first call that I took was somebody whose outlook was crashing. And so that's pretty, you know, that, that, happens. that can happen, especially they've got roaming profiles. The guy has disconnected his laptop from the network and walked away before closing Outlook and dis basically disconnected his right. PST file. So now he's botched his email profile. Right. Okay. That happens. So I remoted in. I've got the manager of the company on the phone and, and I'm remoted in and, and I've recreated his profile in Outlook and, and I'm, I'm ready to resync all of his email. Open Outlook and it crashes. Really? What even after, do? even after update and uh, creating a new profile. So then I said, okay, well on to step two, go into add, remove programs and uh, do a repair operation. So we'll do a quick one first and that, that works, but still open it and crashes. Okay. So, okay, well we'll do the full online repair for Microsoft office and that should do it because that basically rips it out and reinstalls it. Right. And uh, so I ran that, and that took forever, and it still crashes. Really? So I said to him, I said, look, my lead tech is on vacation this week, and so he's going to be back on Monday. Let me chat with him. I want to get his thoughts on this. I don't want to waste too much of your time. I'm on the clock. Mm -hmm. I'm billing for this time. And, uh, and we'll, we'll cir circle back on Monday after I've had a chat with him. Yep. Because that's not my department. I'm cybersecurity specialist. Yeah. So, so really, like I know what I'm doing, but I don't want to waste your time and I don't want to run up a bill if I'm not having success. Right. That makes sense. It's fair. I'm honest. <laughs> so 
we let him go off the phone, and I moved on with my day. And a call came in. Outlook is crashing. Different client? Different client. So this is now three clients Outlook issues. And I'm not talking little clients. I'm talking first client is 200 computers. I'm talking second client is maybe 180. Oh my God. Third client is smaller, 40 staff. Still, that's big. Yeah. Outlook All is of crashing. them are having Outlook issues. M many of them are. Okay. Get this. The ones who opened Outlook this morning, they're not having any problems. The ones who opened it this afternoon, it crashes immediately. So I started. we started this discussion talking about Samsung and how they pushed out an update. And it's, it's a, a mind-bending open, uh, mind opener that a company like Samsung could push out an update that would destroy all of their DVD players and Blu-ray right. players. But now, as it turns out through investigating, and, and so obviously at this point I'm like, okay, something is weird here. So I start looking at forums and I start looking at various sites and, and doing some searches. This is before it started trending, folks. Microsoft pushed out an update for Microsoft Office that basically bricked Microsoft Outlook a, on the fly. A midday yeah. update? Mm-hmm. Why? So people who so here we are in the middle of a business day, yeah. a Wednesday. In a week where people have been told by our governments, okay, be socially distant, but you can reopen your office now. Yeah. So now they're 40 staff, they're 180 staff, they're 200 plus staff are access. trying to access their email. And what's happening? Outlook immediately crashes. So it turns out it was Microsoft pushed out an update, basically bricking. Microsoft Outlook. See, I'm so glad I don't use Microsoft Outlook. <laughs> <laughs> so says our Linux using community. People, people are saying in our exactly. chat, well, who uses Microsoft Outlook? Not me. Right. Yeah. Um, so has it been resolved? Well, The Verge uh, is reporting, and Marshman has been so kind as to uh, send this to me over Discord. Uh, the Verge is reporting that Microsoft has rolled out an Outlook desktop crash fix. Uh, Microsoft Outlook email apps for Windows started crashing at launch for a number of users, everybody, <laughs> in the around the world today. Like this, so this became a trending topic on Twitter. Yes, and so um, this oh, is a talk about Twitter global issue. We will. Oh, this was a global issue. This doesn't matter. Like Office three sixty five users using Pop, using Zimbra, using whatever you're using. If you've got your right. own Exchange server, well, it was affecting everyone. So, so it this looks was like the, they this was the software on the computer. Like if you logged into the web portal, you could still access your. Oh computer. yeah, OWA okay. was still up. Yeah. Okay. And all those things were up. It was people who have it on their computer. So here's okay. the problem, Jeff. What happens when Outlook starts crashing? People think it's their computer. And who do they call? Tech support. Tech support. And tech support pushes the magic button that starts billing them. Question. Did you start with, did you turn it off and on again? No. Oh. Because Microsoft Outlook profile corruption is a common thing. Yeah, that's true. So you recreate the profile, you start over, and you resync the email. You repair, install, if Outlook is still non-functional. Right. And so on. But I went through those steps and it didn't help. So as it turns out, this update, so what I ended up doing is I ended up going in and, and manually uninstalling the update that came in. Okay. And instead installed an update from June. So basically reverted to the previous updated version of Microsoft Outlook. Right. And then it so that's, that's how I was able to fix these customers' computers. So my day was toast. Yeah. My coworker, his day was toast. We were just fielding call after call after call. And I said on Twitter, who is responsible for the lawsuit that, oh, yeah. is, going, that is going, like, I'm talking like a, a grand scale lawsuit where, why are my customers, this is where it's hard to be honest, folks. Why are my customers having to pay my hourly rate yep. to fix Microsoft screwing up their computers. Yep. I totally Samsung agree. 
took the fall. Samsung gave everybody free repair service. They're paying the shipping both ways and they're getting it fixed. What the heck is Microsoft doing in this situation? Nothing. They won't even say much about it. Oh, we fixed oh, no. it. That'll be it. That's all they're saying. The Verge says, hey, that problem with Microsoft Outlook that took everybody's Outlook offline earlier today, they've fixed it. Hooray. They've issued a patch. What about all the customers who had to pay mm -hmm. me and their technicians, not my customers, other, cust other people yeah. who had to ha have their IT staff redo the updates on 200 computers? Oh, see, that's wild. Think about that. Samsung's got it right. Microsoft yep. is dead to me. Th I that's think that just been for a while. <laughs> I'm sorry to rant. Wow. But that, and, and that just makes me upset. I am an honest technician. I'm an honest person. And I need to be paid for my time. Right, exactly. And the stuff that you had planned to do, you couldn't do, no, do because I, you're dealing with this. Yeah. Yeah, so now there's this backlog of everything. That's unfortunate. Yeah. What do you guys think? I mean, post below. Let us know if you're watching this online. I'd love to hear what you think. Um, thank you to Marshman for sending us that article from The Verge. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, if you are impacted by this, note that a subsequent update fixes the broken update, which is the update process for Microsoft Windows.